episode of Jay Leno's Garage. Today's featured car, 1970 Pontiac GTO Judge, or The Judge. <laughs> These were a variation of the Pontiac GTO, probably one level above the GTO. The Judge was a top of the line model. And the name comes from uh, the TV show Laughing, which was a popular variety show on NBC back during the 60s. And it had all kinds of catchphrases. Suck it to me was one of them, and here come the judge. And uh, the judge was a character, I think his name was Pigmeat Markham. He was a comedian, and he would have these robes, and he would go, and go here comes the judge. Here comes. And then Sammy Davis picked up the, the catchphrase. And Sammy would do it all the time on all the shows, and in Vegas he would say, here come the judge. So Pontiac, I guess, uh, absconded with the name, and they come up with the Pontiac, the judge. Um, this is a pretty cool model. Um, it's got the four speed, it's got the big motor, the 400 cubic inch, uh, 366 horsepower. It's not my car, sadly. It does not belong to me, but it belongs to a gentleman named Wade Kawasaki. Wade, come on in here. How you doing? Thanks, I'm doing well, Jay. Now, I know Wade because we get all our tires from Wade. <laughs> He's the uh, president of Coca Tire and uh, also uh, what, president of SEMA. What is the thing? It's chairman of the board of SEMA. Chairman of the board of SEMA. 2017. Okay, very good, very good, okay. And of course, Coca Tire, they're the guys that make the tires for the muscle cars, for the classic cars. I don't know where I'd be. Even rare <laughs> motorcycle tires I've gotten from you guys. So it's, it's, uh, What's, we'll put the website up there if, you, if you've got an unusual vehicle. And these here, for example, now these are, this is the tire that came on the car, the Firestone Wide Oval. That but, is correct. But back in the day, it was a bias ply, right? That's right. So this is what, a radial? Yeah, this is our brand new tire. <laughs> it's got the same aesthetic as the Firestone Wide Oval uh, bias plies that came on the car, but it's actually with modern radial construction. Right. So you get all the drivability and the wet weather handling right. that you get with a modern tire. Yeah, because the original tire was so dangerous. <laughs> You know, with four, three hundred or four hundred horsepower, yep. you just, I mean, the burnouts were fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. And so you slid into the Volkswagen or something <laughs> from uh, losing control of the car. So that's, I'm glad that you guys are making those tires. Let's get back to the car here. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, have you, was this your dream car as a kid? Was something you lusted for? Have you had a long time? Tell me the story. Yeah, you know what? It absolutely was, Jay. My dad had a little Shell gas station in downtown L.A. Oh, is that right? So I worked there in the 70s and got to watch car, muscle cars like this go in and out, and this was absolutely a, a, the car of my dream. But, and you've had this what, how many years? I've had it uh, three years. Oh, so okay. Bought okay. it from a friend in Hawaii, took a couple years to restore it, it would just finished up. Now in Hawaii, it would seem like this thing would have rotted to, with the salt air and everything, because these, these weren't uh, galvanized steel right. at the time. So was it, how much work do you have to do? Yeah, you know, it was amazing. It, uh, the car was Z-barred from the factory. Okay. This was a full rotisserie restoration. So the body came off, they uh, media blasted it. And believe it or not, underneath all that Z-bart was a beautiful body with no rust. We should explain what Z-barting is. That yeah. was a, a really premium version of undercoating. Because yeah. I used to work at car dealerships and we would charge the people like $89 for undercoat, <laughs> and they give me two cans of Rust-Oleum, and I go, <laughs> I just blow some black paint on the frame. It was awful. And I'd say, it doesn't really, just do it, just do it. <laughs> you know, and then they called that undercoating, and it wasn't. Whereas Z-Barting, they actually drilled holes right. in the frame, and then they, they shot some kind of preserve. I, what was it? You know, I don't know what it was. It was their kind of patented formula. I think yeah. it was designed in Europe somewhere. But yeah, it's like McDonald's secret sauce. You right. don't really know what it is, but, but it worked. <laughs> right. it, 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 it was very effective. And, it, and so you had to get all that out of it. Right. Okay, very cool. cool. Now, were you looking for a GTO or were you looking specifically for the judge? Yeah, I was looking specifically for the judge. So. That's right. Do you remember the TV show? I do remember the TV yeah, show. Okay, okay. That's very funny. And of course, the sexiest, greatest thing about Pontiac was the hood-mounted tachometer. You look through the windshield, to see the tack, which was actually a marketing gimmick, but it's actually pretty good because most right. cars would have the tack down on the console, so you, you're doing this, or they'd have it off to the side. So this way you're looking straight out the window. Right. So it was actually pretty functional, and it looked really cool uh, until it was foggy or something. And then, <laughs> you know, when moisture got behind it, you couldn't read it. But it was okay, but it, it's the thought that counts. It was. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Can we, uh, can we open up the hood and see what we have here? Sure, absolutely. Let's go on out. Wow, wow, you even have the, uh, the sealer here for the air scoop. This is a, 
This is a hard piece to find. Is this something you guys laser cut, or is that of, of somebody making those now? Well, yeah. Luckily, our friends at OPG make those, and we're able to get a brand new one. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is what it looked like under the hood yep. back in the day. And so no air conditioning. Yep. Got power steering. Um, yeah, look how unencumbered this uh, engine bay is. And this is the 400 cubic inch version. That's correct. Right? It's what, 366 yep. horse? Okay. Ram Air 3, 366 horsepower. Okay. Now, does this, does it open? Does this? It actually does. Under okay. full throttle, it opens oh, up. Oh, because it opens up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got you, you to gotta have that. <laughs> I mean, that was the hot set of them when we were kids. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And it's, I like the fact that you've done it stock. We've done so many heavily modified cars. Right. I mean, it's hard to make these cars as fast as new cars. So it's fun just to put them back see what it was like to drive back in the day and they actually drive pretty nice don't they they do you know the back then general motors would actually uh not have the advertised horsepower as high as it actually was they right. didn't want to run a foul of all the insurance companies so right. it's got a lot of torque and this of course as i remember was a material named uh endura that's correct this yeah. you could bump you could bump this mm -hmm. and it would it, it would uh kind of like a pillow come, come back, back out and, and, and take its shape again have you bumped it to try it? I'm just curious. No, not yet. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to try not to. As I remember, the pigment was all the way through, right? Yes. Okay. That's correct. So you couldn't, this paint doesn't chip off. It's red all the way through. That's here, correct. Huh? Wow, okay. Yeah. Yeah, for the longest time, I always liked the earlier GTO body stuff, but this one has grown on me. And I like it in this car. It looks very nice in red and with the judge. It's hilarious, the judge. Yeah. <laughs> It's so funny, nobody knows what that means anymore, but it was just, it was such a popular TV character. It was like Rodney Dangerfield, I get no respect, no respect at all, you know. And so here comes the judge. It was just, just funny, very nice. And, and the chrome valve covers, those are stock. That those was, are all stock. That is 100% exactly the way it came from the factory. Wow, with the dress up kit. Very yeah. nice. Very nice. And what is all this plumbing here? Oh, that's for the tack. Yep, okay. that's for the yep. hood tack. Yeah, yeah, very good. Disc brakes in front. Yes. And reliable drums in the back. <laughs> yes, sir, Bob. None of that tricky <laughs> rear wheel disc brake stuff. Very good. And of course, to those people too young to remember, no anti-lock brake, no traction control. That's correct. None of that. What rear end do you have in this? Do you know what numerical rear end it is? Yeah, this one came originally with a 373. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. pickup must be pretty good. Yep, it is. Yeah, good. All right. Here we can close the hood. All right. Let's move around to the back of the vehicle here. Now, this spoiler, was this an option or was it standard on the judge? It was standard on the judge. Okay. You know, I'm always sort of torn on these. I always like, I think designers design the cars and then the salespeople come in. You know, we can get an extra 150 bucks as an option if you put that. Because <laughs> I know they, like the NSX, it didn't right. really need it, but they would like to sell the spoiler. Right. So to me, I think I like the clean line of it better. But it doesn't look bad. At least right. it's the same color. It's not flat black or something like this. And this has a full-size trunk, doesn't it? It does. Let's it take does. a look. Sure. Okay, and a full-size spare tire. Yep. Look at that. <laughs> a spare tire you can actually change. It's so funny you don't see any chrome in the back of cars anymore. Yeah. I mean, it was really, this is the last, the end of an era pretty much for this. But yeah, I mean, this is a, and this wasn't even a full-size car, was it? This no, was, it was, a, it was what it was. Intermediate. Exactly. Yeah, the intermediate car, size. Right. This was, this is a small car. <laughs> and really, what did it take to make a judge? You put a couple of stickers on, they charge an extra. How much more, I wonder how much more expensive they were than a regular GTO. You know what, I don't know that. That's a good question. But it was a luxury package, wasn't it? Was. It, yeah, it yeah. was. They made about uh, 3,000 of them in 1970, okay. so they yeah. made very few of them. Yeah. And could you get air conditioning with a four-speed? You could. You could. Okay. You could. It was an option. Okay. Most people that bought the Judge with the 366 horsepower didn't get air conditioning. Yeah. You know, so they wanted it to kind of race it, so they they eliminated, they deleted the air conditioning. Right. 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 Okay. And then that, that's the original interior, huh? Yeah. Amazingly enough, this is a 48,000 original mile car, and that is the exact interior that came from we just cleaned it up it was it was so nice i hated to change it to a new one no no it looks really good yeah. it looks really good are the carpets originally changed no we changed the carpets, carpets out. look nice but the yeah. dashboard steering wheel seats 
door door panels are all God, original. God, you think in Hawaii the dash would be all cracked from the sun and yeah. everything, but not, huh? Well, fortunately, it was stored in a garage, and it okay. was because it only has 48,000 miles. It's actually stored for about 20 years, so it oh. never saw the light of day for about 20 years. Wow. Okay. And the factory her shifter. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Yeah, and it had that with the goofy T handle on yes. there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's so agricultural, isn't it? It's like it something is. from a big <laughs> tractor unit. But, uh, you know, Pontiac now is one of those marks that's an orphan that disappeared. Right. I mean, Pontiac was huge. It was a huge uh, uh, division of General Motors. It was the performance division. Right. And then uh, the next generation of GTOs that came out about 10 years ago, mm -hmm. They were great cars right. and handled, drove well. They just didn't look as exciting as the early ones. Right. And it was kind of a hard sell, you know, because it just looked like, I don't know, it just looked like a sedan. Regular you know? car, yeah. Yeah, it looked like a regular car. So those are the factory mag style wheel. Yep, these are the factory Pontiac Rally 2 wheels. Okay. Uh, these ones are reproductions we do at Wheel Ventiques, uh, but they mimic exactly the original Pontiac Rally 2s. And what, what differentiated the Judge from the GTOs mm -hmm. is the Judges didn't have trim rings. Oh, okay. So you would have got trim rings on the GTO, but the Judge was plain. Yeah, and it's good to go with the reproduction wheels because wheels can break down over time. You're absolutely and right about that. you know, you're that. putting 400 horsepower through that right. thing or whatever it is, and you're doing burnouts, and eventually that wheel's just going to shatter, yeah. and boom, you're going to break, you know. Well, Lorraine seemed to have stopped. Can we take it for a ride? Absolutely, Jay. This car doesn't seem old to me, but if you're a young person, oh, yeah, this is a really old car. Yeah. This is like me as a teenager driving something from the 20s or yeah. the 30s, you know. That's just so funny. Well, I mean, it's hilarious to us because, I mean, it it sure doesn't seem that old. And when you say the car is like almost 50 years old, yeah. it seems not even believable. <laughs> I had some guys come by my garage because they were driving cross country in an antique car. And they, uh -huh. were gonna, they were gonna try and drive from New York to California and could they come to my garage when they got to celebrate if they made it. Right. So I said, yeah, sure. I said, uh, what kind of antique car are you driving? 68 Cadillac. I go, you know, <laughs> my father did that trip, okay? <laughs> Everybody did that trip. 68, yep. but to them, it was an antique car. Yeah. They're gonna try and go across country. <laughs> Imagine, and it's 68. Ah, possible. That is. We're kind of in the middle of rainy season here in Los Angeles, so really we've got a little break in the weather. Looks pretty ominous down on the it does, uh, horizon, it does. though. So we'll, we'll get close to it and then turn around and come <laughs> back, but I can still feel that the streets are a little uh, greasy because yes. all, the, uh, all the oil comes up, you know? Yeah. Whether it's fun to drive because it brings back memories or that it's just fun to drive. <laughs> because this is what cars used to be like when I was a kid. Absolutely. You know? and, and when you take all the personality out of it, I mean, a thousand horsepower and all that kind of stuff is nice, but you really can't use it most right. of the time. I mean, I like this because it feels like the period. Actually, handles pretty nicely. It doesn't handle bad at all. I mean, we have a little exhaust leak. So it's a little louder than it should be, but. How do you like how those radial tires handle? The tires feel very good, yeah. actually. I'm amazed at people that get a nice car and then go down to some discount tire place right. and just buy the crappiest tire and they wonder why it doesn't handle. You know, buy a pair of shoes that's one size too small. Let me know how comfortable I ought to walk around. Yes, you know? Especially at the end of the day. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, most people, you know, most cars come with good tires, and then they put in some brand you never heard of, and suddenly they're sliding through stop signs. And, you know. right. Feels like it should have another gear. Yeah. You know, you get, used, you get so used to six speeds yes. now, or the revs drop to 1800, you know. 
this has got what, 373? 373, yeah, 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 373 rear. Yeah, so 373 rear, one to one fourth. Yeah, You're yeah. You're not getting much. Suddenly, it's 1970. <laughs> this thing is cool. Let's put our cameraman in the back and we'll show you what it looks like from the inside so you can see that really cool hood tack. Well, here you got your fuel, oil pressure, uh, generator light. It's an alternator, though, but it says generator. It is an alternator. Which is kind of weird. Yeah. And oil pressure, speedometer, clock. AM radio, of course. Yep. And uh, what goes here? An air conditioning vent? Absolutely. Yeah. See, they didn't buy something. They just put a plaque there <laughs> that would tell people you're too cheap to, get, to buy the air conditioner. Yeah. You got the simulated wood grain. Yeah. Classy, right? Yeah. <laughs> I always thought a non-airbag wheel looked better. Yeah, it does. Yeah. But this is all the original dash. I mean, nicely yeah. preserved. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. And then they just stuck this on there, you know, yeah. to judge. You know, it's hilarious. I wonder how many fake ones there are out there. I'll bet you there's a bunch. Yeah. Drive though, I like seeing that front end yeah. rise up a little bit, you know. Well, I felt like I was driving a piece of my childhood, it's pretty cool. <laughs> this is the hot setup. I mean, this car has only been out of the restoration shop for a couple of weeks, and you really haven't driven it a whole lot. No, yet. I sure haven't. So we found some things. We got a little exhaust leak up front. We saw that. It's running way too rich. Yeah. Got to fix that. Um, yeah, a few other things, though. But, boy, it, it's it's a nice, solid car. It, it, you know, it's fun when you don't deviate too far from stock. Well, this one is 100% stock. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, sometimes I see guys, they modify these cars so much they don't bear any resemblance. It's like... A girl you knew in high school that's had all this plastic surgery, and he goes, Susan? Is that is that you? You know, I mean, you can't even recognize it. And, uh, and it was raining today, so we couldn't get on it too hard. We'd be sliding around the road. But I want to thank Wade and, of course, Coca Tire. And thanks, Coca Tire, for making all these great retro tires from the 60s that have the original look. They make the red lines for the... Absolutely. The, you know, the red line. And then there's a blue line tire, yep. too, that was pretty cool. You can't get those anywhere. And uh, Coke was the only place that has them. So if you got one of these old cars, that's the place to get your tires. Wade, thank you, my friend. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate it. See you guys next week.